Hi guys, welcome back to So let's go ahead and continue with the story. Enjoy. Where did you go? All of a sudden the radio stopped working and then that flooding just disappeared. Crazy forest. Is this who I think it is? Casey. Say hello to Alan Wake. Mr. Wake, this is Special Agent Alex Casey. He'll escort you to our car. Casey, I'll meet you there, right after I take a look around. If the flooding's receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay. See you there. All right, so we not yet even play with Alan Wake. Alex Casey. But here he is. How? Am I still... Is this the dark place? No, it can't be. I got out. Yeah, the PI from your books has the same name as me. Great. Take Moving the car back to Alright, so it's a it looks so good. Car wake. Get your bearings, then we'll head out. I just I, I need another minute. Cauldron Lake. I thought I'd never see this place again. Take your time. But you should know these rooms <clears throat> aren't the safest. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. It's getting dark. Yeah, I'm gonna leave him here. Should look around. Yeah. With the flooding gone, could be further clues out there. All right. So is this? The flooding disappeared very suddenly. Investigate the previously I flooded. Connection to the overlap. The nightingale. All right, so it says to investigate the previously flooded area. Uh, I don't know. I guess we just have to keep moving forward and leave Ellen Wake and KC back there. I am not quite sure what's going on, but welcome back to the most creepiest game of this year. I'm really enjoying this, guys. Uh, the, the story just... It's very impressive. The graphics, the action, the spooks. Mm, top notch. Alright, I guess we just go back here, right? Uh, okay, so the game's saved. Uh, we will have to get back to the car. The car's over here. What the f- why is- Can I fast travel this? Damn it. Alright, I just have to keep going, then. You can do a quick turn. Oh my god. You could do a quick turn by quickly pressing backward. How you do it? Yo, it's just like Resident Evil. What the fuck? Oh shit. Yo, take it easy. I don't have bullets. I don't have bullets. My God, Casey just left me here. <laughs> Shit! I need to go. I need to go. See in the light. See in the light. Shit! I got this. Oh, I killed a deer. He killed a deer. No! 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 Yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, uh, shit. Damn it, how, how you? Go get up, get up. Wait, please don't. Shit, shit, make me, me, me. Oh my god, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. How to get out of here. It's no easy way to get over there. Shit. Alright, so, um. Damn it, I don't have any heals. Uh, this. Where's this wolf? Where's this wolf? This wolf is gonna get me. The wolfy wolf. Um. General store. See, I can't go that way. It wants us to go forward, north. Oh, 
I'm hoping I can kill this wolf. I hope it's not like a boss fire or anything like that. Oh shit. Okay, wait, what do we gotta do? What do we gotta do? Okay, we can go up here. Damn, we can explore it actually if, you, if I want to. Shit. But I need more bullets before I can do that. I'm gonna go up, up here. Okay, it looks fine. The, the, the sun is out. That means the wolf is gone. Pretty sure. Oh, shit. This is really good, man. They... Makes it look so realistic, man. Alright, hold up. Maybe parking's over there. Okay, let me go to the parking. Alright, this is... Yeah, this is, this is creepy. I'm so scared. Okay, um... Okay, I can go this way. Looks like some little opening. Yep. Alright, here we go. I, I th I'm, pr I'm pretty sure the wolf is here. I think he's gonna be creeping on us right now. I hear, like, broken wood approaching to me or something like that. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> Thank God. Let's go. Yeah. We're taking you back to Alf. Field office in Bright Falls. You can freshen up there, and then we'll talk properly. There's something wrong with the audio. I don't. Know, it's like a little delay. Some frame dropping or something. Hey, what? mom. Before see. you see anything, I'm totally fine. Don't freak out. Dad shouldn't have even texted you. Logan. No one texted me. What's going on? I'm totally fine. I slipped, that's all. God, it's not the end of the world. Put your father on the phone. Um, okay. Dad, it's Mom. Don't worry, hun. Logan slipped in the shower and bumped her head. She has a slight concussion, but I'm keeping an eye on her. Lucky I heard her fall. She could have drowned. Jesus, David. Why didn't you call? I tried. It didn't go through. She's fine, really. But what about you? You sound... Liar. Sad. No, it's, uh... Just a weird case, that's all. Well, if you need a hint, my years of board game victories tell me Colonel Mustard did it. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep an eye out for him. Love you, Dave. Love you too, honey. Wanna say bye to Logan? Just tell her I love her. Bye for now. Elderwood Palace Lodge. Lodge. Look at Alan. It's like he went through like a hangover or something. <laughs> you'd like us to reach out to, Mr. Wake? You've been gone a long time. No. No. If they'd be in danger, it'll come for me. Okay, let's talk about something else. Robert Nightingale. Do you know him? You were both here in 2010. The Dark Presence got him back then. That's the last time I saw him. Thirteen years. Hey. Tell us about the pages. You had what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently. But your name can still be made out underneath. <laughs> scratched out. Yeah. Scratch. Did you write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember. It's... It's... It's a crazy jumble, like a... Like a nightmare. I, it doesn't... It doesn't make sense. I remember. 
remember. I remember. It looks like John Wick. That's uh pretty weird. Late nights. Invitation. Fuck. Wait, what? I'm a talk show tonight. Waking up in places with no memory of how I'd gotten there. It was out of control. I didn't need another mug shot in the fucking tabloids. Good to see you, Alan. Uh, uh, this must be an exciting time for you. Tell me, does it ever get old? Sorry, does what get old? Publishing a new book. Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. <laughs> this is exactly how I feel. <laughs> you know, I've waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to Departure. You left us on quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what it's not a lake, it's an ocean really means. You and me both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. Initiation, that's, uh, that's, that's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A, an auto-fictional thought experiment? A, a, a horror story? A, Postmodern detective story? Wait. This isn't right. I I haven't written anything. He's so humble. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got me. Good prank. Very funny. But yeah, I sad to say, I, I I've not written this. I, I'd remember if I'd written a book, right? Or maybe it was written by your evil double. <laughs> well, <laughs> Play, man! That is spot on! Playing the role here! Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own? That's very meta indeed. You see, Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake, who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark, doppelganger and guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written that's right alex casey is in this book as well uh, i guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show the joke's on me but isn't that what you sign up for with auto fiction no but seriously i found the the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating it reminded me of the matrix I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there, and he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York through the story he is writing. Uh, like astral projection. Did I get that right? Yeah, that's exactly right. Go on. I should be taking notes here. Uh, this is great stuff. <coughs> notes to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak? Are we all in your story, Alan? I don't know. Did you read the book? <laughs> wow. No, I, I, I wish you every success with your new book, Alan. I hope it's as successful as your best-selling Alex Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. 
After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this Hero's Journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. <laughs> Man, thank you for one of the strangest interviews of my entire career, Alan. <laughs> Always talk of meta narratives. I'm expecting to disappear once this scene ends. <laughs> This is so, so good. Yeah, Remedy. I mean, I'm in for Hello? Alan Wake 3. Keep making games like this. It. Something's not right here. I needed to get home oh, to Alice. Not a lot of action, but when it's action, it's action. But when there's spooks, there's spooks. And I can tell the developers are timing everything just right. So I need to get out of here. What the hell was that interview? Some kind of joke? Initiation? I'll make sure that I never wrote up. a book called Initiation. This felt Initiation. like a bad dream. Could make a good horror Six, story. Six, five. Old Gods of Asgard. That name sounded familiar. Mr. Door? I was a mess. I'd never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? Okay, let's get through these doors. Because that's the only number I saw. <laughs> there was something here. A broken transmission I couldn't quite make out. What was that? Shit. A message? That was him writing. Oh, impossible to say. Or typing. Okay. Let's get the storage. Wait, why did why did he do that with his hand? Like he act like he has a flashlight. He doesn't have a flashlight. There's something in the studio with me. I had to get out. The dark presence. Stage. This is the ritual to meet you all. I felt like a drowning man gasping for air. This place felt familiar. A ghost of a memory surfaced, about riding here for countless days. God. So this is like a new room, huh? TV? Some type of radio over there? There's a door, but I can't go through it. It has that do not go sign. Summary of the story so far, but other notes as well. Warnings. I had written them. I couldn't remember what it all meant. The name Scratch filled me with dread. I could trust these words. I had to act on them. You must write to escape. You must write to escape. Well, oh, like that. On writer's room. We got up to the nightmare at the talk of show. I had thought I was so I was home in New York with a story I wrote. The dark place trapped. You must write to escape. So get back to writing. Oh man. Wow. Thoughts and ideas could manifest as reality in this dark place. I'd use my writing to project myself out of this room, like a deep sea diver to go deeper and explore the depths of this prison for <coughs> a way out. This room was my boat. Writing was my lifeline. I would start again at the talk show. Welcome back. Uh, 
We have a great show for you here tonight. We'll treat all you Alex Casey fans out there. Alex Casey himself is here tonight. The great Sam Lake, ladies and gentlemen. The actor who has given his face to the famous detective in the film series. And of course, we have Alan Wake here. The best selling writer, the books, the films are based on. Let's do this! Oh, let's get out of here. Okay, we can't get out of here. Wait, what? Am I stuck again? Welcome back to the show. So, Alan, as the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? Sorry, what? <laughs> I know it can be an awkward question with the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? He looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your books. So, uh, what's the problem, Alan? Because on more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I. I I feel protective about my stories, and these adaptations... Uh, uh, I don't know, I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well, in that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Case. <laughs> Should we roll it, or do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah, just roll it. What's going on? This city was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain-slick window, my own reflection haunting the view. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp shaped like an angel. The only thing that shed light on this sordid mystery. Woo! That's great. Murder case, Casey. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? Are we, gonna, are we just going to keep doing this? Okay, let's get out of here. Find a way out of the talk show. Would it be different now because of the numbers? Six! Oh! Get me out of here. Okay, so it's uh, probably s it's probably like this zero six zero. No. No. Okay, so we gotta find the numbers. Oh shit. Oh, what? Oh, it's the same thing. 665. Alright, we'll just try this again. What? That's, that's not right. Please don't scare me. 665. 5. 6. It's 5. Five, six, five. Five, six, five. Five, six, five. Let's go. Yeah, look like you tried. They tried to trick trick me with a pattern there. Did I went to the wrong um door? 
Can I go here? I can't go through here, so I have to go to the same place. The same way. This is so creepy, man. Holy fuck. Oh, let's go. Hello? Janitor? Ah, oh, shit. No raid. There you are, Tom. Oh, Tom. Not so much evil that not a bit of good as well. Not one without the other. <laughs> good to see you. Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? Not <laughs> Of course, Tom. The work will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh. what do you want me to get from the basement? And my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got a bag of man's. A man, but the man with the tool makes two, Tom. <laughs> he was calling and a Tom. Man with a tool can build his own exit. It's in a shoebox in the basement where you left it. He's been in a shoebox. <laughs> Safe as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. Generous key. I think I have one more question. Have we met before? Oh no, two more. Are you trapped in the dark place too? You remember Ahti? The janitor. You can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. So don't worry, Tom. The sun will shine even into a heap of twigs. Just remember to turn on the lights. It won't take long when you get to work. I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mouths about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. It's not easy to get out. But don't you worry, Tom. The home is still there where the heart is. I often think about it when I mop the floor and look into the puddle. Water is the memory of the world. Water finds its way. The janitor was a bit out there, but still a friendly face. I had to trust the basement would get me out of here. Basement. Where's the basement, though? Toilets. So if I keep going straight here and turn right, yep, this is it. The generous key. Gener generous key. This will take me to the basement where all horrors will begin. Rattling Wake 2. Yeah, this is really creepy. Really? Oh, there we go. There we go. An old lamp in a shoebox. Oh, nice. Oh, the lamp. Is this what the janitor had left for me? This is the lamp. That's what the gameplay of this. This, this is pretty neat. Uh, what you can do with this? Significant. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. Bringing light to darkness. Okay. We gotta remember these things because. There's a little clues, a little hints that what we can use I for a gameplay. I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light overhead. Man, this is really cool. Whoa! When the light jumped into my lamp, the whole room changed. Like something in a dream. Opening a way forward, the lamp was humming. The bulb glowed. It held the light now. So the lamp has the light. Okay, um, okay, what's, what's next? Uh, use the light to find a way out. Oh my god, this is so freaky. Okay, maybe do this again. I got myself trapped in there. Can 
Can I go through here? Yes. The glow in the lamp went out, shifting the light in the room. The light carved out something new from the darkness. So since I'm in here, now I can switch it back. Because I'm now on the other side. Yo, that is brilliant. Come here. So let's get out of here. The exit should be right around the corner. Let me check here first. Oh, nothing. Okay. Never mind. Let's just get out of here. I needed to find another way out. Oh, come on. I don't have the key. Alright, so we had to find another way out. The exit. Alright, here. Shit, I didn't check, my bad. If I looked at the map, it would have been different. Oh, shit. No charges. Oh, I need the lights. I had to go back. I had to go back. I had to get the, I had to get the light. Damn, take it easy, Alan. Alright, so I had to get the lights. Nice. Then I go back to use it on that television. Alright, here we go. The dark place wants to draw me. I'm losing myself. I have to fight it. I have to remember the clicker. The light switch. I lost it. But I have the lamp now. The lamp the switch was cut from. This place is a nightmare. Not real and yet more real than anything. The danger and the horror are real. It feeds off my mind. Twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality. I'm trapped here. I write to escape. I've tried this many times, written countless stories, forgotten how many. I keep failing, but I must keep trying. I use the story to dive deeper. Every word I write is a step forward on this spiral of the darkness. This reminds me of the Matrix. You open a door that's not a door, at the bottom of an ocean that's not an ocean, and a lake that's not a lake. Wow. Alright guys, we're gonna end it right here. It's a little late right now, so thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. I am still debating trying to finish this game and I want to finish this game because the story is very interesting. Alan Wake is, this game is top notch quality. So I have to keep playing. It's very impressive and very different. This could be the contender of the game of the year. So guys, thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of the videos I, I pull up or put up and uh, yeah, take care.